I've disabled my appearances file in order to show you the colors that you get out of the box from Creo Parametric. I'll click on the Views tab and then from Appearances we can see in my appearances that there's only about 15 different colors here. Let's open up the Appearances Manager and you do have a drop down list where some, there are some folders with additional colors but I like to have a whole lot of different colors to choose from to apply to my different parts and assemblies. In this video I'm going to show you how to get those different colors. If you go to Google, you can perform a search for Creo Parametric Appearance Files, and the one that I like is available on grabcad.com. The URL is grabcad.com slash library slash Pantone Colors Full Dash DMT, and it's by a from a gentleman named Clemen Erzin. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And you can download this particular file to your computer. All right, so I have downloaded and unzipped the file. Now let's see how to use it in Creo Parametric. Let's minimize my browser and I'm on the View tab. Let's go to the drop down list for Appearances. Then you're going to go to the Appearances Manager. And in here there is a File button. We're going to choose to append a file. And let's navigate to where I stored that. And there is the Pantone Colors Full.dmt file. Let's click the Open button. And it says, oh yeah, there's some conflicts in colors. No problem. Let's override all. And now you can see that I have a long list, a ton of different colors in here that I can use in addition to the ones that come from PTC. Now let's go to the file menu and we're going to choose save as and I'm going to save the file to this C Creo appearances demo folder on my computer. Now here's the important thing. You want to change the file name and the file name should be called appearance. Can't use any other name. Appearance singular not appearances and it's going to be of the type .dmt. Let's click OK out of here and then close. And now I've got to set a config.pro option to point to that location. Let's go to File, Options, Configuration Editor, and I'm going to add the option, and it's going to be called Pro underscore Color Map Path, and you're going to browse to the folder that contains that appearance.dmt file. So again, I put in C, Creo Appearances Demo. Let's click the OK button and click OK. Let's save our config.pro file and click OK again. Now I'm going to exit and restart Creo Parametric so that I have them loaded automatically when I start Creo. All right, I'm back in Creo Parametric. Let's open up that assembly that I just had open. Close my warning about my tree file for my model tree. And now when I go to the View tab and then Appearances, here we have our long list of options that are available to us to use to apply to different components or parts or surfaces, whatever I want. But it read in all these different colors because I appended that to the appearance.dmt file and stored it and have Creo Parametric loaded up using a config.pro option. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.